Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Plymouth Argo career. In the last episode, we got our confidence back, I would like to say. Two wins, one draw. The draw was against pretty much bottom of the league, but at the end of the day, it wasn't a loss. So I think I'm safe with the job. Happy days. That's what we want to hear. Keeping me in the boss seat, again, I'll go up to the championship, we liked to think. Anyway, let's get into this home game against Morecambe. 35 points to us, 18 them. I think they're also in the relegation battle, so I am going to start with the main team, because I don't want to take the risk that we did in the last one against Ackleton. So yeah, let's get into it. So here comes the boys. Nice little cutscene this. Ryan Hardy with his little satchel. Four goals in the last three games. Oh, I do. Hey, anyway, I just realised, where's our mascot, Pete? Pilgrim Pete, where are you? Clearly the game hasn't got him in the game. Uh, bit of a shocker. I think they did have mascots last year, actually, in FIBA 22, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't that for other team? I could be wrong. Leave a comment below if I'm uh, right or wrong. Regardless, here we are, home park. Let's see how we get on today, then. Let's get this show on the road. Look at the team. Come on. So here we go then. A fresh day, a fresh episode for the boys. Let's pick up the dub. Come on. Starting team now. Nice in such a Whitaker. This is unbelievable. So far. Nah. Until that pass. Hunter gets the ball back. Stockton. Connolly. Stockton again. Interception, nice. No. Oh. Oh, good player. Just holding that RB button, just holding it in there. That's really good play. Good save from Coop on the near post. And he pushes that out for a Morgan corner at home park. Hopefully, as as can be a little bit better this episode. He did near the end. Hopefully Edwards can be swinging them balls in like Cancelo. And hopefully Mayer can keep banging him in. Come on. Let's get this out. Rico Richards, this should be yours. He's always on the front post. I guess right. Get out. Get out, get out. Not one, that's not the player you really want to be running. Work on the 1-2. Probably should have put that one over the top. That's my bad, man. Not going to blame Mayer there. That's me being terrible at the game. Maybe let's close him down. Let's watch him. He's a bit dangerous. Good save from Cooper again. He had an absolutely brilliant episode. In the last one. I hope he can do it again. Let's see, he might be so far. Edwards. Well, oh, boy. Or oh, should I say Cancelo? Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> I did press say there back to Whitaker, but it just took too long. But it doesn't matter, we've got the ball back. Come on. Rico wants it. It's a really good ball there from the white man Dyke. Good touch as well from Rico. Uh, but he's just not the same. I don't know what's happened to him. Normally he dances there. He's a little dancer. A little Mo Salah Mo dancer. But he's just not getting through. But here come Morecambe here. But I'm from Azaz. We can just break off this though. It's a three on three here. Good hold up play to Ryan Hardy there. Can Hardy open the score in? Yes, he can. Morecambe have been the better team, but we've caught them out with a defensive error and a midfield error in their opposition. And we are picking up the goal. Very surprisingly, like I said, Morecambe have been the better team, but we've snatched it. Right at the front post, a midfield error, defence defense was slacking, and we capitalised. 19 matches, 15 goals. This is the holiday we wanted to see. Like, where the hell was he at the start of the season when we started this series off? But we don't care. We've got the goal. Good ball, ball over the top there, to Rico. Too fair, probably should have switched it there to... Um, Whitaker, he looked like he's making a mental run. Edwards, we all know he's got an absolute cracking ball on him. 
And he's done it again. Look at the balls he does. Oh my God. Ripley with an absolute catch of the save. Well, I, don't, I can't even freaking speak, but catch save. What the hell am I on about? What a save that was. What a header though. That's like Zlatan. As as was. But again though, Edwards. I'm going to say it, even with Oma team or whatever, he's probably one of the best passes I've used this game. He's unbelievable, but here we come again here. He's cut inside there. Stopped him. Ooh, good challenge. Could have got a bit, a bit dangerous there. Could have maybe been a pen if one player fell over. Edwards again though, running through. He loves going forward now, to be fair. Whitaker. In swinger there. It's alright, we can win that back. Unlucky. I can't, I just can't get over that header. Like, if we scored that header, mate, I, was, I think it was outside the box. It's like a bullet header. You couldn't ask for a more precise header than, than that. But a good save from the keeper, but anyway. Good interception from Wilson. Number. Finds Azaz. Azaz finds Rico. Rico finds. As I said, it's Mayor. Mayor with a little pot here. Ah, probably shouldn't have done that. Apologies if I'm getting my words a bit mixed up. It's been a bit of an action packed game this so far, uh, I'd like to say. But what and a half for our goal, I mean, not, I think we could have probably got one more, I would like to say. But we take it. Let's get into the next one. Here we go then. Second half has begun. Against Morecambe, one 0 to Argo at home. Mayor, yeah, good switch out to Edwards. We all know he could do something with the ball here. Good ball there. Can Edwards do a famous swing? And he does again. He, look at that man! It goes right across all the time. Here comes Mamba. And off the players. To be fair, I'm going to go back to Edwards. There. He's back on his own. Anyone making that dart and run? No one's making a run there, so we're just going to go back outside the box. Oh, not the best place to lose it though, especially when they attack. Loves an LBY. Oh, to be fair, that's probably the best fail pass he's done. I was aiming for Hardy and it's gone to uh, Whitaker. It's not what you want to see. Wilson, well done. A bit of play here. Maya. Can Whitaker cut inside? Find Hardy on the overlap. We can. I was tempted to shoot, but the angle just looked a bit too uh, a bit too hard to shoot. So Trying to cut it back. I still play this. A challenge from Wilson, though. Having a really good game. The centre back. A little dink in the middle there. We love them. Oh, it hasn't worked out. It's a really good ball, but a very sloppy, sloppy shot from the number nine from Morecambe. And Cooper just easily catches it. Happy days. Come on then. Blandike on the ball. Inside. Tazaz. Super Mayor. Really nice ball. Head it back in. Holly's there. Oh, unlucky. I was going for a little scissor kick there, but it didn't give it to me. Good play though. Very creative. Just, we need one more hill though, because it is a bit... Squeaky bum time, I mean, freaking, we've only got one goal. He needs to get one back. It looks like it could potentially happen here if he gets something going. Ah, they haven't got anything going there. What am I saying? Rico, on the attack here. Gonna hold it up to Whitaker. Oh, unlucky, Hardy. Very unlucky, that. Stockton, the number nine. Miss a bit of a sitter. Early on, can he get a goal now for his team? Put it back. He's got to watch him now. It's a good turn. And Connolly from Morecambe. He sh I ain't going to lie, I know it's not my team, but he should be burying that. <laughs> That's a shocking miss. Really nice play for him, but he just hasn't put it away. Can't go wide. And uh, Rico Richards is offside. I didn't see it. It was a bit off the screen he ran back on. Where's the VAR check here? Yeah, he is off to be fair. You can see it there with the lines. Rico needs to step up, man. Like, he shows promising for a whole season. And recently, he's been a bit sloppy. He needs to wake up a little bit. It's 
It's a really good ball to hide if he gets that though. Unlucky. Unlucky. You can walk him again here. Stockton. Seems like they're threat. There, uh, number nine. Well done. Well done. 83 minutes into the game, still one goal in it. That's not a good touch here from Mayer, and I don't really say that a lot. It's only one of my best players, and here comes Stockton. We're doing well in defence, man. We are doing well. Just got to hold out a little bit longer. Good switch there to Mum. Uh, spoke too soon. Went a bit too far. So substitution here from Morecambe. Phillips on from Mel on from Melbourne. Don't know if I can make more players forwards. If that's the case, I'm just going to put it down to Ultra because we need to see it out if that's the case. Switch is on there to Rico. Well, oh, maybe a chance here to be fair. With Hardy. Work on the overlap. Can work and see it off to our goal. No, he can. I'm not happy with that. I'm turning. To, what the hell are you doing? He needs to be burying that. I'm sorry. Luckily, we should be getting the win. By the time he kicks it, surely they're not going to get an attack in the next 30 seconds and score. So it looks like it could be a winner for our goal. Is it? Let's just get fingers crossed here. One more attack, maybe, possibly. And there it is. A 1-0 win. Bit of a boring game, but it doesn't matter. A result is in the bag. Three points. Happy days. Back to winning ways, Argoa. Lovely stuff. If I had to pick a man of the match, uh, I would probably say Wilson for a centre back. Had a really strong game. The defence did well, keeping the clean sheets. Attack was a bit eh, especially with that worker chance at the end. But it is what it is. 25th minute Hardy goal. 1 0 to Plymouth Fargo against Morecambe. Kiama. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure you can, my man. Fire her up. Rando, oh, it's a bit unhappy, Rando. I think everyone's found a bit struggling from form recently. I think if anyone's struggling in form, it's probably Rico Richards, not Rando. I want to see a reaction, yeah. Tell me why you want to be in the starting team, Rando. Shine up when it matters when I bring him on. Got the goal in the first hand, look like you're going to finish comfortable winners. Did you see him look like a game of two hearts? Every player did their job, 100%. They did. Maybe we don't work at the end, it's not an absolute howl though, but it is what it is. Defence was amazing today. Hey, did you ever feel like there wasn't going to be your day? Yeah, I think that we, yeah, we got the goal, we could have probably done more. But like I said, three points, we got the win in the bag, that's all that matters. Thanks very Happy much days. for speaking to us. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. So you know the uh, the way we do this now, I'm just going to sim through these training days and we'll get to the next one. See you in a moment. So just before getting into the next game, we have got a youth squad monthly report. Let's see how these youngsters are getting on. Right, so here we are then. Leon George, 16 of age, 41 overall. And Billy Porter got up to 39 to 47 because I think we did change his position. Is this guy ready to be changed positions yet? He's very close, this guy. He's one week, so hopefully you can change um, Leon George. But there is a new striker on the block that I am actually going to bring into the team. And that is Isaac Miller, the 17 year old, the English. 5'10", left-footed, 5-star skills, high-low, 77 to 94 potential, 60 rated. Is this the new wonder kid? Let's have a little gander. He has got one week, but I do remember from old previous FIFA's that this was a bit of a glitch. That it didn't switch over until you signed him or something. So I am going to sign him and hopefully we will change the cam. If not, I think you've got to do, like for example, change to left mid, then go back to cam. Um, if not, we could play him as a winger. Uh, I think I am. I mean, do we? I think we play him as a winger. We're going to convert him to a winger and we're going to sign him now. So, welcome to the team, Isaac Miller, the new youngster. 
don't think we get any cuts in, which is a bit unfortunate. Could he make his debut in the cup here in the Emirates FA Cup against Stockport away? Soon find out. So this is the team that we are going against Stockport today in the FA Cup. We have only done one sub and that is Rando in for Azaz because he did seem a little bit, bit too pissed off that we didn't play and also he's out of form. So I want to prove to the press that he's not out of form and he can do it. And you should know the rules by now. If you don't, I will give you a little recap. In the cup games, we do do the, <clears throat> we do do the highlights. We don't play the full match. I just like to switch up a little bit for the cup game. So let's jump in and get it going. So here we are then, round two of the Emirates FA Cup. They've actually asked me to get into the six, round 16, which is, a, I think, a very, very big ask. But we see how we go. Um, we obviously will try our best and keep the boss man upstairs happy. Was in the doghouse a, dog a couple of episodes ago. And because uh, we kept losing games and drawing, yada, yada, yada. But hey, we're back in form. Can we get the win again today with this highlight reel mode on FIFA 23? Let's get into it. So here we go then. Stockport attack in the 25th minute. Can we defend this? Madam. Counts on the ball. All we need is a tackle and get position back. And it should cancel out the highlight. There's a foul there. Crankshaw. Back to Collar. They've still got it. That's a really good ball. That's very good ball. We have got the ball back and it has stopped. And stop ball again. I've got another attack straight after in the 27th minute of the game. Can we defend this? Just got to hold that player He's on his own. Nice. On a score. Here we go again. Plymouth Argo counter attack. 37th minute. Can you make this count, boys? Well, I do really. I'm in control. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Hey! It was a foul. I thought we'd keep the ball. Like we'll have another higher route. Well, I don't know. I'm not I'm not the one that makes the game. <laughs> but here we go again, defending again. Good chance from Bosa. Well, I like to say that should be it. Happy days. Corner kick for Plymouth Fargo in the next half in the 56th minute. Let's see what we can do here. Swing it in. Oh, he's there. Hardy! Oh, a good catch here from the Stockport keeper. Stockport solo run here. Looks like Wilson v this Donny up top. Wilson was in good form last game. Can he do a two on one here? That's got to be in. Go on. Oh my god, he's absolutely killed him. It should stop though. Hey, so they, they continue, but we don't when we get a free kick. Daylight robbery game. Doesn't matter. We've got the ball back. Pern Fargo solo run. Oh, here we go. Who's this then on the ball? Oh, please don't be Cosgrove. <laughs> I have all the bloody players. It is. Switch it over. Oh, that, see what I mean? You see what I mean? He's fucking terrible. Is that not enough like evidence to tell me like, and tell you lot that Cosgrove in the video game is just not good enough? A simple Y ball to Hardy or whoever was making that run. And we could have gone through and won the game. But no. Andre the Giant can't even do that. Good goodness saves Cosgrove. How are you a pro professional footballer? You should be in Sunday League with the performances to be bitten in for this career mode. But anyway, Stockport 0, Argo 0. So it looks like we have got a player chat here after the cup game. I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance in this senior squad, boss. I'm desperate to show everyone what I can bring to the team. Isaac Miller, that is one I want to see it. He didn't let anyone down. I don't actually know if he started that game because I couldn't see because I didn't have any control of the, over the, uh, what's it called, the, the team management. So hopefully he might make his appearance and we'll be able to play with him in the cup, in, not cup game, in the league games, which seems to be on the Tuesday. So I'll see you to that day. And I'll see you then. So this is a massive, massive game. As you can see, Sheffield are second. We are third. We need this win, really to be pushed into nearly just behind them in second place. We do this, we're closing the gap on maybe getting into the championship near the end of the season if we continue on with the form we are in now. 
42 points Sheffield against our goal. This is an unbelievable game. We need to get a result here. So let's get into the pre-match conference and talk to the press about the upcoming game against Sheffield. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. What are they on about? It's not been a good start to the boys. Referred, you idiots. Bloody rat. Can you still go up? We can still go up. Is that what you want me to tell you? You idiots. I'm a positive manager. Absolute idiots. This is a big game. Massive game. We're in good form though. We can do this. 100% we're up for it. We're very happy. Team Morale is right up there. Yes, it'd be a very hard game, very even teams. They just got the live at the edge of us at the table. We won't underestimate them. No, no, no. They're a good team. Saying that, we did play Ipswich and Cubs out school, and they weren't really that strong, I don't think. Okay, guys, we'll we just be got a bit real lucky. Now. Thank you for attending. But anyway, the questions are done. Let's get in to the lineups. So, this is the lineup I'm going with. It's got to be the strong team against Sheffield here. This is a must win result. Five of the back as well. Can the Amayago close the gap into the second place position in the league? Let's find out. Here we are then. Out in the boost. League top goal scorer Ryan Hardy. This is the game for you, my son, to step up and shine. I need you now than ever. Look at the stadium on this, boy. Fair play to them. Lovely stadium for Sheffield Wednesday. Go respect that at Ivy Lane. Eric Ray and Stuart Robson at the match commentary. Commentating over this massive game against 2nd v Fred, as you can see there on the table. <laughs> to be fair, even if we lose, mate, it's going to maybe screw us up in the league because we've got MK Dons right behind us there, as you can just see. So this is really a must win. We need to step up here. Can we do it? Let's find out. Here we go. Come on then, lads. Big game here. Big performance. Well done, Edwards. Really good form at the moment. Here comes Whitaker. Oh, to be fair, I just wanted to turn a little bit there with Hardy and play for Whitaker, but it just didn't seem to happen. And here they come. Sheffield, really nice play for them. And they put it wide. Goal kick for Plymouth Fargo. Nice pass. Number. Striving with the ball down that way. Rico, really well done. Oh, he's there. Over the top there. Back to Whitaker. To Mayer. There's a chance outside the box there for Azaz. And he's put it over the bar. Not the best shot for him. But promising from both teams, it seems like. We'll both work for it. Like this should be. Could be a cracker. Oh, there's a quick counter-attack here. Good shot. And what a finish that is from the Sheffield player. That is why they're up there in the table. That came from absolutely nowhere. Started from the goal kick, to be honest with you. My man celebrating the camera. What a finish from Wilkes. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I don't know. But look at that. Snappy passes. A long shot from 22.3 metres out. And Cooper couldn't get to the bottom right corner in time. Sheffield won. I'll go nil. Come on, boys. We need to answer back from that now. We need to be stepping up to these big games. Couldn't do anything about that, to be honest. It's just a cracking finish. To be fair, I probably should change the kits. <laughs> but hey, I'm the weak man for excuses. Come on. Number cutting in. Ah, uh, unlucky. And they come again here. Oh, Rico, he's been really sloppy. Don't be the next Cosgrove, my man. Especially from you. Well done. No, he ain't that bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm right. This is not that good on the game. The evidence is there. Well done, though. Come on, we're looking alright. We're not looking too bad, eh? 
Oh, come on. I need to get a better lock on that game. Oh, my goodness gracious me. These boys love a long shot. And they've just put it wide there. I just couldn't get a lock on there. And they've just put it right side of the goal. Unlucky again for Sheffield. Need to be closing them down on that edge of the box there. Like Let me look one two there. Hardy wants it back. Can he get can he get it there? Good defending there to be honest. Really good defending. Good challenge. Really good challenge there. Oh wait, okay, you gotta make the run, my man. You're, you're just you're very static. Wingers need to step up their game. Come on, good attack here. Good ball there. Hardy's through. Hardy, can he make it one all? Oh, yes, he can. He steps up to the plate. He finally gets his goal in this game. Edwards finally gets his assist as well with Hardy. The link up there is unbelievable. Hardy steps up to the plate. Like I said when he was walking through the tunnel off the bus. He's done it for us. Well done. What a player he's turned out to be now. Start of the season, he was shocking. Now look at him. League top goal scorer for a reason because he does stuff like that at the big stages. Top left corner. Come on, boys. Look at the away fans singing. Here they come again here. Just hold him up. Hold him up. That guy loves a long shot. They do like long shots, this team. Worker, really well done. Rico, not the meh headers. It's actually worked out really lovely. Hardy again, yes! I don't even know how we've done this play, but we turned it around in the matter of seconds and took the lead. The play on that was like ping pong ball. It's like the ball didn't touch the ground. Look at it. Ding, dang, do. Lovely little play. What a finish from Hardy as well again. I was very optimistic with that header pass. Didn't expect that to work. And from doing that, we just found so much space. And it was an easy tapping, pretty much for Hardy. He does that day to day. He'll have them all day long. And here come Argo again here. This is what we want to see. Don't rest, attack. Could get that with a He might get it. That's right, we'll take the corner. What a turnaround though. Sheffield absolutely bottled it there, didn't they? Uh, I'm going to go for an inside foot curler, but I'm going to put a lot of curve on. I'm going to go with an out swinger. Van Dijk's there. Oh. Again, no defender still gets no goals for Argett so far in the season. Do a soft pass from Azaz. But he gets it back. I'm going to try a bit of tricky pokery. Doesn't want it though. That's alright, well done. Referee hasn't given a foul for that. And with a throw back to Hunt. Yes, Mamba, take him down. Yeah, walk away, home fans. It wasn't a foul, it was a nice challenge. Here's the replay of the go here. 20 appearances, 17 goals. Crazy stats for Hardy. Just think if we had his form at the start of the season, oof, we could have been flying up there. Anyway, half time approaches. What a turn, what an odd half, to be honest. I mean, an absolute banger from Sheffield. We looked a little bit like the better team. And Hardy with the double. But to be fair, the second, it was all about the second goal, really. What a team goal that was. Well, Hardy with an individual pretty much goal on, this, on the first goal. But anyway, let's get into the second half against second in the league. Here we go then. Second half has begun. Scar goes out wide to Edwards. Player in tremendous form at the moment. No, oh, just need to be a little bit careful here. Can't we? Def I don't know why I'm troubling with a defender. Mm, it's a good challenge. The Scar returns back with his own one. Number out wide. Remember to try to strive up there. Bannon, good player. Dangerous player. Gotta watch him. Well done, Scar. Well done. Good interception. Got all the time in the world. Not the best ball there from Mumba. Really sloppy ball from him. 
Try closing them down. We know these boys are like a long shot and they're dangerous at it. As I asked them really well. Rico. Can he hold it up? He's looking for support. Gets Mumba. Hardy's there. Hardy's there. Back post is on. Can he get it to Wicker? It looks like it could be the keeper unless he messes it up. And the keeper catches. Mum has seen a lot of the ball this game. Ooh, and Azaz just loses it there. But they can handle it. Scars there again to save us. And get possession back. Edwards. We know he loves a cracking ball. Oh, it's still there. Just keeping it a bit safe at the moment. Keeping a bit of possession. A bit timid. Good ball that is though. They've been caught out. Going back there. Going out. Oh, ooh. Mayer there with a little bit of a banger there. Got confused with Hardy and Mayer there. A bit of confusion, but it doesn't matter. Corner kick. Good chance there from Mayer. Very close. Swing into the box there. I'm going to head it down here to Rico. Rico. Oh, I'm trying to get that shot off. He loves a power shot from inside the box. Oh. Don't know what happened there. We tried to do something, but we got a bit lucky with the deflection off the Sheffield player. Rico whips one in. Oh, unlucky. Oh, this is a bit risky time here. Sheffield looking a bit dangerous. Really dangerous. Can we get that out? Get that out? Oh, and it's unbelievable. Very, very lucky. And so unlucky for us. 75th minute in. I'm going to make a sub middle run for Mamba, but they don't deserve that. They've done nothing. Look at this, look. Blocked off Van Dijk and it's just fell for him. I can't blame Cooper for that. I can't really blame anyone really for that. It's just so unfortunate, but... Come on, we can still get this. We get Edwards overlap. He's done really well. I don't know how they haven't seen that. Oh, just try to feed it through the Harley. That's a little tap. Just got to watch these here because this is where they probably would bounce back. That's a really good board. Did not see that. And Cooper's put an absolute world of a save. Let's have a look at some more subs here. Butcher on for Azaz. And I'm actually going to bring on the youngster. I'm going to quickly do that now. We'll get back onto the corner. So as I just mentioned there, the youngster, can he step up? This is a massive game to prove. I'll put him in the deep end here. Miller on, the new youngster. I've also took, put Butcher on for uh, the midfielder as well in Mayer. If the youngster pulls off a world here, the 18 year old. I don't know, maybe 17 actually, I do apologise. That'd be insane, but he's big potential, this kid. Here we go again now. Youngster's there. He's done really well. Can he get it again? Come on, yes! There it is! It's unbelievable there. I cannot believe it. The youngster has just come down. Look at the away fans, it's tiny. But we don't care, we celebrate in front of the home fans. I can't believe it, look at him, what a turn that is that, boom, see you later. Roof of the net. The substitutions have paid off well here. Butcher with the assist. Assist, the goal, sorry. His first goal in nine games. Unbelievable scenes, well done, no, we just need to hold on, come on. This is a massive win. We really need to hold on here. I'll put it on ultra defence. I don't care. I'm a rat. I said, just hold on to the ball, boys. I'm holding on. I'm being a rat. Oh, hello. That's a bit shocking. What the hell's going on with the flicker? And I read that. In the case, I was shocker there. I'm being a rat. We want this win. And there it is. A huge win. I was hoping for a bit more of an uproar there for our fans. But that is a massive... Massive win for us. A step closer to second place behind Sheffield. And a bit more of a clearance here, hopefully, from MK Dons. Brilliant result there. 
what an impact subs they were with Butcher and the you new youngster that we will be seeing a lot more this season. The youth academy player turns up and gets the assist with Butcher with the 85th minute. Argyle 3, Sheffield 2. Just a couple of questions for you. Oh yes. Yeah, Hardy, brilliant performance from him again. Couldn't ask for anything better. Unbelievable from him. Definitely need to keep a hold of him. What a player. Always left it late, didn't they? What do you think is close to the end? Yes, I know these lads are getting to the very end. Yes, 100%. We fought to the end. We deserved it. They didn't deserve that second goal. I'm sorry. They got very lucky. But that's football for you. But we deserved that. We were always the better team. A tight game. It must have been players to come out on top. Uh, let's enjoy the win. We'll probably prepare for next week. That's it. Keep that mentality intact. That winning mentality is unreal at the moment from us. We've proper challenged it around the couple episodes ago. But thank you very much for the questions. I'll see you in the next one. So before ending this episode, we have got some messages here. Let's have a little look. So we've got player return from injury. Noel Ennis has returned, so we might be able to see him in the next episode. George position change. Let's have a look at this. Leon George, let's see if he goes up anymore. There you go, look, up by 10, Leon George, another youngster, another five-star skiller, another English striker. So we'll keep him going, we'll just quickly put a development plan on him. What should we do then? Um, probably probably complete striker, so we'll keep him on that. His potential dropped a little bit, but we're just going to keep him in there and see how he gets on. Let's have a look at else. We have got more monthly scouts, so see if we've got any more ballers coming through. Edward Norris, look. <clears throat> Pardon me, 1753 to 69, 75 to 94. Definitely get him in the team. Let's have a look at someone else. Ibrahim Bennett. Looks like a bit of a full back there. Get him in as well. Why not? The rest don't seem like they'd be get out, so I'm sorry. Get out. I'm sorry. I wish you all the best. Let's have a look at them new players. Uh, I'll quickly skim up to that now, but before we got that, we've got the player chat. Let's have a little look. Edwards, boss, just want to say thanks. I suppose it's a good chance to win you. Um, obviously, what I have to say, respect that, and things have really improved us lately. 100%. The leader, the leader of the team, Joe Edwards, gets to me. Uh, it's all worked out well. Happy days. So, yeah, let's get into the new Youth Academy play. So, here are the all then. So, we got Ibrahim Bennett, a right wing back. Five star weak foot on the bike. Can he play another alternate position to maybe grow him a bit higher? Uh, so it looks like, um, Jesus Christ, nine weeks to go to strike as well, that. It looks like he's a bit of a dribbler. He's got a bit of pace and his defending all else is shocking. So to, that tells me he's not really a defender. So what I'm thinking of, maybe a centre mid? I think a centre mid could be the best shout for him. His pass is not the best though. I don't know where I can really put this guy to be honest. Maybe a winger? He's not got the best shooting, but he's got good agility and not bad pace. So I think I'm going to try and convert him to a right, a right winger instead. So we'll put that on him. And Edward Norris. This guy looks like a massive potential. We could sign him now, but I'm going to keep him in there. Let's have a look at him as well. We've actually just signed him. I'll see if again. He did make, get the assist in the last game. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Got a bit of a ticket cough. Again, his true is unbelievable at 69. And it also pays at 69. So let's have a little look at him. Can we maybe a centre mid? 39, left mid, Cam. I think we do maybe left wing maybe on him. Or do we do Cam? I'm going to do Cam, I think, on him. We'll get him as a Cam. So there we go. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one against Peterborough at home. So yeah, bye.